Hello my friends, today we are in Photoshop and I am going to show you a very, very powerful tool and that is Blend If. I'm going to try to explain it to you in a way that is very, very easy to understand. To do so, first I will make a new layer and fill it with a gradient. I'll just do a gradient from black to white and let me just put this over here. And then to get to the Blend If, you just have to double click on the layer and the layer style dialog will open up. Now in the layer style dialog, these two uh, layers is the layers we're working with. The underlying layer, it's the background layer, is the layer that we have underlined, uh, like underneath. And then this layer is the layer we selected and this is this gradient layer. So the under layer is the one that is on the bottom and then this layer is the one that is on the top. Now watch what happens when I move these triangles from the left to the right. You see what's happening? We are protecting the dark tones from underlying layer. We are working on the underlying layer because this is the bottom layer. And by moving the darks from the left towards the right, we are protecting, we are keeping those dark tones from underlying layer. Now, if we go from the right side to the left, we are protecting the white parts, the light, the light parts from the underneath layer. You see how we are letting those come through? Now, here is a trick. If you click down Option and then click on this triangle, it splits into two. So now we can move each one of these halves individually and that will create a feathering. So the transition is not so abrupt. So now we have the gradient on top, but we are letting the, the bright parts, uh, the bright pixels from underneath layer coming through. Let me reset this. And now let's look at the, this layer, which is the layer on top, which is our uh, gradient. We started underneath layer when we moved the darks to the right, we are protecting those. Well, on this layer, it's completely the opposite. If I move the darks to the right, we're not protecting the darks on this layer. We're actually deleting the darks from this layer. You see, as I'm moving it, the dark pixels are just going away. The same thing when I move the bright to the left, I am deleting the bright pixels. So when we are working with the top layer, we are actually deleting those bright or dark pixels. And when we're working with the underlying layer, we are protecting them. We are keeping those pixels. So they work kind of the opposite. Now, how is this helpful on, you know, real life photography? Well, I will show you right now. I am going to cancel this and delete our gradient. And this is really, really great. Let's say we want to add some more color into these highlights. I can make a solid color and let's choose like a bright orange, something like that. Now, let's say we only want to apply this to the brights, then we will double click on it and we will protect the shadows. So that way we are only applying it to the bright parts. Remember to hold down option to split this so we can give it a nice feathering. So there you go. Now it's only applied to the highlights. Of course, it looks really bad right now, but that's because we need to change the blending from normal to soft light. So now if we turn this layer on and off, there it goes before and this is the after, before and after. That's how we added more color. I am going to delete this layer and what else can we do? Well, I have this picture over here. It's just some birds in the sky and I'm going to take my move tool and bring it into our landscape image right here. I'm going to position it somewhere over here and let's say we want to put these birds into our background, you know, landscape image. How would we do that? Well, we have to go to our layer style dialog and let's think about it. How can we, we can work with the top layer, right? This is where the birds are. And if we want to delete the white and just keep the blacks, all we need to do is just delete the whites from it, just like that. And we can even feather it a little bit. And there you go. Now we applied these birds to the background and just with a simple slider. Let me show you another trick. If we go back to our solid color adjustment layer and we choose, let's choose a blue and we'll put it into the shadows this time. So we'll choose a blue like that and then we'll go to 
layer style and we only want to put it into the shadows so that means i will protect the highlights because i don't want to add that blue into the highlights i'll make sure i'll split this and now we only have it into the shadows i'll go ok and change the blending mode to soft light i will go back to the layer style dialog and now if i want to see exactly where this blue is happening i can use this color overlay so once i click on this color overlay you see i chose a very bright magenta but you can change this to like whatever color you want you can choose a bright green you can choose whatever you want i chose magenta and now we can see exactly where this color is being applied let me go back to the blending option and now we can easily see the color when we are applying and this is important because sometimes you're working with colors that are very similar to the colors from your image and might be hard to see where you are applying this color so now i can see i'm only applying this into the shadows and then make sure you turn off your color overlay when you're done editing and now we are um, color grading the shadows this is the before this is the after if it's too much always you can go back and reduce the opacity and this is how you can use this blend if to color grade your images now let's take a different example and here i have this um, picture of a i think it's a palm tree and then we have this sky over here let's say we want to change the sky of the blue image into this colorful sunset how will we do that just using blend if well let's double click on it to open the style layer style dialog and we are working with the top layer so with this layer the layer that is selected and you see we've been working on the grayscale that means we've been messing with the luminance protect or delete the bright or the dark pixels so that's the luminance the grayscale but what happens if we move into the blue channel now we're in the blue channel we're working with this image with the blue sky and we know that the blue is pretty much in the highlight is the brightest parts of the pixel so watch what happens as i move the slider from the right to the left i am deleting the blue pixels from this layer and now we are seeing through the image underneath and just like that we replaced the sky really really easily if i turn off the sky this is the selection i've made just by you know deleting those blue pixels and there is our composite so as you can see this uh, blend if tool it's a super super useful and it can really help you in your editing flow i hope this was helpful for you and you learned something new today thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i'll see you in my next video